more life, more vision. It's Motivation Friday with the one and only Joe Chege. You already know, it's Friday. We gotta get our weekly dose of motivation. And today, I just want to talk about an African proverb uh, that says, no one is born great. Great people become great when others are sleeping. I'll repeat that. The African proverb says, no one is born great. All the great people become great when others are sleeping. What does that mean? When you think about it, we were all born at the same level in life. Uh, sometimes I know we have like a, 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 a geographical a difference or maybe a race. But at the end of it all, if you look at all the great people in life, if you do your research and you look at all the athletes, you look at all the uh, entrepreneurs, you look at all the doctors, the scientists, like all the people who are recognized as legends or who actually came into this world and left a great mark, the one thing that stands out of all of them is they were willing to put in the work to become great. Look at all the athletes. If you look at Michael Jordan, like his workout regimen was crazy. MJ would work out like even when uh, he wasn't feeling well, he would still show up for his games. He would still show up for his practice. Same thing with uh, the late Kobe, may God rest his soul. He did the same thing. His mamba mentality is what kept him going every single day. And not only in the in the in the in the in the sports industry, if you look at the greats like Martin Luther, Malcolm X, Marcus Gavi, like all the great leaders that came before us, one thing they all had is the resilience and the discipline to keep on going. And they did their research. They made sure if they wanted to become great in a certain niche, they worked hard and made sure they learned their lingos, they learned the language around it, they learned the history behind it, and made sure they connected with the communities to become better. So what I want to tell you is, if you want to become great, if you want to take your business from uh, the, the, the regular level to, to the highest level, you have to invest in the knowledge, the team, and also put in the necessary work to step into greatness. The reason why I thought about this African quote is because we live in a generation where everybody wants to be great and popping like today. I call it the microwave generation, like you want everything right now, like you want to just pop it in there, turn it to a minute and boom, you have a, a whole meal. We're we, we at a point where we do not re, uh, respect the process. Nobody wants to take time to study and do things and, and, and step out and become different. And this for me, I feel like we all at one point become copycats instead of being innovators or trailblazers. I think I mentioned it last time. So when I think about the brand itself, ownership and greatness, our main goal is to, at the end of the day, tell stories of people who've stepped out of their comfort zone, who decided I'm not going this way, I'm going to create a path for myself and be able to look for a solution around my community that I can solve and be able to be a blessing to the people around me. So if my goal is to become great, that means I have to do things differently. I have to step differently. I have to make moves differently. And the only way I'm going to become great is by making sure when the others are sleeping, I'm putting in work. Like today, it's Friday, so most of us are like, yeah, it's time to turn up. We've had a crazy week. But ask yourself, are you where you wanted to be last year? Are you at the height of your career or at the height of, of, your, of your business? If not, then you need to, to put in some work. I don't mean like you don't even uh, you don't even uh, need time to to unwind or relax. You we all need that, but we also have to ask ourselves: Are we gonna use the weekends to step up uh, into the next level of our life? Or are we gonna just uh, just lay down and chill and waste our, our our days away? That's just the way I'm looking at it. So what I'm gonna encourage you this day is go out there. And figure out what your niche is. Figure out what you want, like, badly. What do you really want? 
if your goal is to become the best version of yourself, then you need to put in the work. When others are sleeping, when others are giving out excuses, you need to show up for yourself. You need to keep on working. You need to keep on grinding, learning, researching. You need to find mentors around you who are going to help you to step into the next level of your life. Surround yourself with people who are willing to hold you accountable, who are willing to challenge and play devil's advocate uh, whenever you bring issues so that they can challenge your mind and help you think better or look for alternative ways of doing things. I believe we can be great in anything we put our mind to as long as we, willing, we as long as we are willing to put in the necessary work to step into the next level. So just remember this Friday that for you to be great or anyone that you know that has ever been great they had to put in work they had to put in extra work than anybody else. And I believe it's possible for your year to become great. Some of us had a, a new year resolution where we said, this year, this is my year. I have to break generational curses. But guess what? We are still chilling. We haven't started to initiate anything. So this is just an encouragement. You can start where you are. You can start today. You can literally start this Friday and keep on building your brand, keep on working on your craft, working on your vision and goals. It's never too late. But the most important thing is for you to be great, for you to become the best of the best, you have to put in the necessary work when other people are just chilling. Step out of your comfort zone. Use your weekend to build your brand. If you work a nine to five and you're always saying you don't even have time, try and set aside some time during the weekend to at least work on your business, work on your, on your brand. If you even set aside like three hours every weekend, Think of it, within a month, you've already have a couple of hours. You are like a few hours ahead of other people. So no more excuses this year. Think of how you're going to become the best version of yourself. Do your research. Surround yourself with people who are going to be able to push you to become the best version of yourself and go out there and be great. You got this in you. I believe in you, like I always say. And that's it for today. It's Motivation Friday. More vision, more life. It's Motivation Friday. Kaboom. And before I forget, kindly, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, it actually helps a lot with letting other people know about uh, the work that we're putting in. And not only that, if you listen to us on Spotify, Kindly leave a review. Would I really appreciate that? And also comment below. Let us know uh, if this uh, this this message impacted you and helped you in one or another. And also share share with your loved ones. Share with the people that you feel like this message uh, is relevant for them, so that they can be able to step into the next level of their life. Peace and blessing. Have a great weekend. See you guys next Friday. Peace and amount. It's Motivation Friday with Joe Chege. I love you all.